hello, thanks for joining me, the Suffolk Shaver, for another shave video. Today is a uh, battle between the beast, the Yaki beast. It's the uh, top cap of the first razor I used and the bottom plate of the razor I used in the previous shave to make this hybrid head. I've put it on a, a shorter handle. Uh, when Kevy done it, he used the uh, the uh, Grace Diamond Twinkle handle, which is quite a long handle. Let's see, quite a lot longer handle. I like a shorter handle. Looks pretty cool actually with the uh, gun metal top plate there against the. Uh, the R41 and uh, kit from um, DE Shave Talk with kit. He uh, suggested I use a Voshcod in the Beast. So I've got two Voshcod, one for each razor. Uh, so blue shave today as well. We've got blue skies and uh, no clouds, which, we, uh, which is a rare site here in the UK. So we're using the <clears throat> the uh, Gladiator grooming brush again with a white feather knot. Uh, what else have we got? We've got soap which is a new soap I've not used yet. This Island Man from Sterling and that is also blue. Fantastic scent. Go through the uh, scent profile in a minute. Post shave is going to be Humphreys again, cucumber melon. After shave is Brute, blue again. It's the uh, sport style. Love the scent. Lasts quite a long time. And then finish off with a bit of balm, aqua velva. It's a sort of a light cologne scent. Sensitive 5 and one balm. Yeah, so the scent profile of the soap is bergamot, lime, sorry I've put it on there and I can't read it. Lime, mandarin, coconut, jasmine, hibiscus, ylang ylang, uh, ginger, sugarcane, musk and rum. So let's get to wet the brush. I've just got some um, hand soap on my face, sort of a pre-shave, soften up the beard a little bit. You see it's brand new, not been used yet. So I'll get a good load. On the brush. Water is splashing everywhere. I'll just have a little bit more water in the knot to gather a good bit of soap. Fantastic, fresh, uh, would almost say aquatic scent. More dip. Yeah, our kit advised using a Voscod blade and a very, very, very light uh, pressure on the razor. No pressure at all, in fact. face again. Hope your week has gone well. Work was a 
bit better last night, worked a bit quicker. All these uh, sterling soaps got fantastic scents. Scent strength on this, I'd probably say, sort of around five or six. Yeah, so I'll use the uh, razor on one side. We use the R41 on the right side. So it'll be easier for me to remember. R, right. And the Yaki Beast on the left. I'm familiar with the feeling of the R41. I'll see what, uh, if there's any difference from the uh, Yaki Beast. I'm way, way behind on the videos. Because of that. Uh, Finishing late from work and keeping things at home. Hopefully it's good enough. Whilst that's uh, on, that's continuing to soften the beard up, I'll uh, put the blades and the razors. I've used the Voss card for a while. They're double wrapped, but they also have the couple of dots. See there, glue dots. See that? Got a blade gap there. Looks pretty central. That's one, let's do the R41 now. Just got a uh, Message from Tony Tony today to say he's uh, received the Bart's Bums that uh, he won on the giveaway. That's good to hear. That's the, uh, let me see the blade there, just, there's not any sort of blade exposure there because it's uh, pretty much flat with the with the bottom plate so let's go then just uh, dip it in the cold water in the sink see what feels I'll probably only do a, a two pass Good feedback. I 
think when Kevin used it, he done a three pass. using my left hand as well so it makes it a little more difficult certainly feel the blade change to the right Three days of growth. So I was a little bit anxious uh, using this razor for the first time. This is I've not used it off camera, um, but it's just the same as like before I bought the R forty one. You see other videos and uh, hear about it from other people. And once you get to using it, it's not that bad. Sound of the blade is slightly different. The uh, audio feedback, more tinny on the R41. I said I prefer the shorter handles still got a bit of weight in the handle so just using that to uh, do the shave no just to allow the head to just drop all your hand is doing is just sort of guiding it Certainly want to suggest a new wet shaver using these razors. Trigger. Got a bit of experience. Did watch uh, Flash Warden shave, a couple of shaves, his face shave, his last face shave, and his head shave. 
So now we've just got the uh, carved razor. I find with this, if you've got to use a more of a shallow angle. Obviously, if it's too high, then it's going to feel a little rough. Pretty much like um, what Spencer said in his video about the uh, the rocker, mule rocker. Right, that's the first pass. I'll pause here, get some fresh water, and I'll see you in a second. Okay, back for the second pass. Pretty much same either side, very efficient razors. And a good amount of slickness left on the skin. Definitely a good idea to use a pre-shave of some kind. Second pass, you want it a bit more slick. You want the cushion for the first pass, so nice and thick. Second pass up, add a little water. Makes the lather look thinner, but so that gives that extra slickness and glide. Fantastic summer scent this is. Not got it. Go get it. I was watching a uh, quiz show on TV a couple of weeks ago. Said that uh, got a note here on the on the phone. Ambergris. Have you got any soaps with ambergris in it? Uh, ambergris is found in the digestive system of a sperm whale. So uh, next time you use that soap with that uh, scent profile in it, remember that. So again, beast on the left side. England are playing uh, Panama on Sunday. So, uh, me and the boy will be sitting watching that. Either at home or uh, I may suggest going to the club to watch it. So a big telly they got. There's about four smaller tellies. That's sort of a dot and about, so wherever you're sitting you can sit and watch the football. Gonna raise that and play combo kit. Okay. Thank you. So that's 
uh, the beast side. And the R41. Must have been a spot or something there. I if you uh, watch right to the end of my videos, the, uh, <clears throat> the last little um, screen where the uh, I suggest a video and the uh, subscribe button, a little bit of music I uh, put together using the samples on GarageBand. Apart from there, I think I've done all right, Jill, don't you? It's funny to use more more uh, aggressive phrases and you, you think you're going to get more sort of cuts and weepers, but uh, I might do against the grain on the, on the face, leave the neck. These phrases you gotta sort of concentrate more. Just gotta touch more water. Right, based on the left side.
not as easy as say the uh, Shapecraft 101 or the uh, Parker variant for going against the grain. stretching the skin with these milder ones you can sort of get away with not stretching so much Try to record in this video. Put the uh, brush giveaway on a private setting, so it's closed now. So uh, thanks everybody who uh, got involved with that. on par with each other. That's whatever you prefer. You want to pay a little bit more for the Mule uh, 41 or you can buy uh, the scalloped head and the uh, the open comb head. You've got three razors there which you can adjust. The mild one, the first one I used which was the open comb and then the uh, the scalloped head and then you can take the top cap and bottom cap off each and then put them together like this one and you get a slightly more aggressive it really depends on on your uh, beard growth you know how thick it is but, uh, yeah very very nice shavers very much enjoyed it you say you've got to sort of take your time and uh, concentrate that's a very, very, very smooth shave. So pretty much no weepers. I think that was a little spot up there that I caught. Feels like a little bump or something. Apart from that, it's 
So I'll just uh, rinse off here, wash my face and uh, see you for the post shave. We're back for the post shave. I just uh, rinse my face off with warm water. And I've used the last of the lather from the uh, brush. Left it on while I've rinsed my brush out and uh, and rinsed it off my face. I had that little spot there. I had a couple of uh, creepers on the top here. I think there was one here and one here. But, uh, all stopped. Very nice shave, very close for a two power shave. So uh, let's go into the post shave now. Humphreys with chisel, cucumber melon. So uh, hopefully over the weekend I can go through all the uh, entries to make sure everybody's a uh, subscriber and then uh, go ahead and make the video and uh, do the draw. I'm very excited. Hopefully, uh, Yeah, hopefully you'll be uh, very pleased with the brushes if you're a winner. If you're not, I've also got a uh, note from Gladiator Grooman. It says a little correction on the price for non-EU buyers, 21% VAT is reduced from the uh, 30 euro 95. Uh, the reduction is automatically done at the checkout. So if you... Uh, now if you don't win, then uh, please check out Gladiator Grooming. Not just got brushes on there, they've got uh, star kits on there. I think they've got maybe shave creams, I'm not sure. So uh, yeah, check the uh, website out, uh, gladiatorgrooming.com. Right, that's pretty much dry now. Just go through the stars of the shave. And so the uh, brush from Gladiator Grooming, very nice. Good backbone, soft tips. Now, as you use it, it gets a little softer, it blooms out a little bit. If you're buying the uh, either the white feather or the black raven, and the uh, probably agree, the handle is really nice. It feels nice in the hand. It's not too big. Yeah, it feels nice. Razor was or razors was the uh, Yaki Beast. Bottom plate was from the scallop head and the top plate is from the uh, the op double open comb whatever you want to call it. And I used the um, Jaws Razor Rock Jaws handle for this one. And the other one's the R41. Got the uh, R41 head on the Magad MR11 stainless steel short handle. Blade was the uh, brush guard in both razors. Soap was Island Man from Sterling Soap Company. Very nice scent, very fresh, a uh, little fruity. That's uh, really nice. And uh, also used the uh, Allen block to close up these uh, little creepers and that. And I went on to the Humphreys Witch Hazel. I'll apply the uh, brick sports style. I'll get a little burn from this anyway. So my face might light up a little bit. Got no restrictor on the top there. Scent, light, fresh scent, and then just finish off. Yeah, face got a little bit red. That will calm down. And then they use uh, five and one. It's a non-burning, all-day moisture. Helps uh, prevent bumps, soothes redness, 
and uh, helps fight ingrown hairs. You're going to need a little bit of this. Skin should feel nice for the rest of the day. Give my face a break now for a couple of days before I have another shave. So thanks for watching, thanks for your likes, thanks for your comments. Any questions leave them in the comments box below or send an email to the Suffolk Shaver at gmail.com. As I say thanks very much for uh, getting involved in the brush giveaway. And uh, yeah, have a great shave. If you're shaving over the weekend, have a great weekend, whatever you're doing, and uh, see you very soon for another shave video. Cheers, bye.